Hello learners and welcome to class today. For our class today, we'll be having mathematics. And on mathematics, we'll be talking about multiplying and dividing fractions. Our lesson outline for today, we'll be talking firstly about multiplying fractions and secondly about division of fractions. Okay, I'm going to be using some real examples. As you can see, you can see a man running. Okay, a running trail covers three quarters, three over four of a mile. If a runner is halfway through the trail, what distance has he covered? I'll repeat the question again. A running trail covers three over four of a mile. If a runner is halfway through the trail, what distance has he covered? Now, halfway means one over two. So we have to get one over two of four to find out the distance that is covered by the runner. Let's visualize one over two of three over four. Here we are going to be drawing three rectangles. You can see the three rectangles. The first one represents three over four. That means you divide your rectangle into four parts and you shade three out of four. The next one would also be divided into three out of, would be divided into four parts again, and three out of four will be shaded. But now to get our half out of three over four, that means you shade half of that three. To shade half of the three, you shade one and you shade half of another one. So the next one, we have three over eight. To have three over eight is very simple. We've divided the rectangle into four parts. We now divide each part into two parts again. That will give us a total of eight parts. By the time you have a total of eight parts and you shade three parts, you discover that your three over eight is the same thing as one over two of three over four. So from the rectangles drawn, we can see that this means that the runner was able to cover three over eight of a mile. Now multiplying fractions, apart from using the previous rectangle method, you can also multiply directly. So when you see one over two of three over four, it means one over two times three over four. It means that off will change to times. So now step one, you multiply your numerators first before you multiply your denominators. One times three will give us three and two times four will give us eight. So that gives us an answer of three over eight. You can see that irrespective of the method, you are still getting the same answer. It's just the method that is different. So it simply means our answer is still three over eight. So that means one over two, or you can say half of three over four is three over eight. Now try this. A field is three quarter meters wide, or you can say three over four meters wide, and two over three meters long. What is its total area? Now remember, your area is equal to length times width. So the answer for that question now, I'll repeat the question again. A field is three over four meters wide and two over three meters long. You multiply the fractions, then simplify to get the answer. So that is three times two all over four times three. That means you multiply the numerator and you multiply the denominator. Three times two will give us six and four times three will give us 12. Well, as you can see, the numbers are still divisible. They can still be converted to the lowest term. So 6 divided by 6 will give us 1, and 12 divided by 6 will give us 2, because they are both divisible by 6. So that means your answer is 1 over 2 and not 6 over 12. So that means the area of the field is 1 over 2 meter square. Another example here using a real life scenario. A cyclist completed a journey covering 4 over 5 of a mile in 9 minutes. If he maintains the same pace each minute, that means it go, goes at the same rate per minute. What is the distance covered per minute? I'll go through that question one more time. A cyclist, you can see a man cycling, so that's a cyclist, completed a journey covering four over five of a mile in nine minutes. If he maintains the same pace each minute, what is the distance covered per minute? Step one to solving the question, you find the reciprocal of the divisor. Find the reciprocal of the divisor. Your divisor is nine. So four over five divided by nine, let's do for the reciprocal of nine. 
we all know that whole numbers always have denominator of one. It always goes um, as it's divided by one. So to get the reciprocal of a fraction, all you have to do is switch the numbers. The numerator will become the denominator and the denominator will become the numerator. So your nine over one will become one over nine. Now the next step here is for you to change that division sign to multiplication. Since the numbers have been swapped, that division sign will also be swapped. Your divide will become times. So it becomes four over five times one over nine. So you multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. Four times one will give you four and five times nine will give you 45. So that means the cyclist was able to cover four over 45 of a mile per minute. Try this, try another question. A group of four athletes joined a relay race. We all know what a relay race is. It's a race that is run by a group of athletes whereby they pass the banton from one runner to another. So a group of four athletes joined a relay race that is seven over eight miles long. The marathon has four parts and the four parts has equal distances where each of them will participate. How many miles will each of them cover? Let me take the question again. A group of four athletes, that is four runners, joined a relay race that is seven over eight miles long. The marathon has four parts with equal distances where each of them will participate. How many miles will each of them cover? Now to the answer. Seven over eight will be divided by four since we have four athletes. Now we all know our four will be four over one. Any whole number in fraction will become four over one if you are converting it to a fraction. So now you are going to you are going to use the reciprocal. So that means our numbers will switch. Instead of four over one, it will become one over four. Our sign will also switch. The divide will become eight times. So that will become seven times one and eight times four. So seven times one will give us seven. Eight times four will give us 32. So that means each athlete will cover seven over 32 of a mile. Let's go for a quick summary of today's lesson. We started with multiplication of fractions. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators, get an answer. We multiply the denominators, we get an answer. For example, get 2 over 3 of 1 over 5. It simply means 2 times 1 all over 3 times 5. 2 times 1, 2, 3 times 5, 15. Our answer is 2 over 15. Now, to divide fraction, we multiply the reciprocal of the divisor. For example... 1 over 4 divided by 2 over 3. So it will become 1 over 4 divided by, you swap the numbers to give you 3 over 2, and your divide will become 8 times. So it will become 1 over 4 times 3 over 2. That means 1 times 3 will give you 3, and 4 times 2 will give you 8. That means your answer is 3 all over 8. So please keep all your learnings for today in mind. Here is a challenge for you guys. A basketball team wants to increase and decrease the time they practice some drills. As you can see, a basketball team in the picture. Now, our first drill is three over four hour long. If we want to increase the time, as in that time by half, by one over two, how long will we now practice for? Question two. Our second drill is two over three or two third hour long. If we want to decrease that time by half or by one over two, how much time will we practice for? Please go through these questions and make sure you solve them. Thank you. Thank you, learners, for your listening here. Thank you for participating in today's class. Thank you because I know you've all learned something about multiplying and dividing fractions. As you can see, it is not that hard. It is very simple. Just keep everything that you have been saying and that you have learned for today in mind. See you in the next mathematics class. Thank you all. Goodbye and enjoy the rest of your day.